<laughs> it's just an amazing place and nothing will ever be built around it because I own all the land around it. It's nice to own land. What do you think about the environmental concerns? The Scottish Wildlife Trust asked you to boycott it. I mean, come on. I mean, uh, do they boycott all investment? I mean, come on, this is, a, this is the best part of a billion dollar investment here. I'm a very, very fortunate to have it here in Scotland. There's no way that this coach can survive with the weather and the environment here. To keep it up is going to cost a huge amount of money. Nature will just come back and take it back again. Mm. We've already seen that recently. Stupid man. I mean, I don't know when the, when the dunes move and the sand moves in the winter, but he thinks he's stabilised it. How can you, you can't stop tide and sand and mm. nature. I'm afraid it's a bit smarter than Trump. The trees are a border ornament planted thoughtfully by our neighbour. The initial emotion was simple pure fury that someone could be so stupid, so vile, and so egotistical, followed rapidly by a bit of humour because we knew that Sitka spruce don't grow very well in this environment. They never have done, they never will do. They don't like salt spray, they don't like strong winds. We're 100 feet up, 700 yards back from the North Sea. They're going to get both.